Today's dinosaur. Horrorosaurus. Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, MG Man here, and today, well, you like dinosaurs, I like dinosaurs. Today, we're going to be talking about dinosaurs. Most importantly, we're going to be going back to the Triassic period, and we're going to be talking about one of the first dinosaurs. If you guessed or read the title, I really hope you said Horrorosaurus, because that's what we're talking about today. To find Horrorosaurus, we have to go back about 230 million years ago in modern-day Argentina. This is the late Triassic, a very weird time in Harris history. And if you guys like this content, I will make another video about the Triassic period because, well, it deserves its own video. It is probably the strangest time, I personally believe, the strangest time in Earth's history. But, going back to Horrorosaurus, let's find out the history about this thing. Horrorosaurus was first discovered in 1959 by a famous paleontologist, Ricardo Martinez in the Ischialandica Formation, which is a region in Argentina that is very, very well known for the Triassic fossils. Now, the genus named Herrerasaurus honors Victorano Herrera, which is actually the local farmer who found the first fossil remains of Herrerasaurus. That is quite literally why this dinosaur is called Herrerasaurus, because it is named after Herrera's lizard, because the guy found his name Herrera. So, Herrera, Herrerasaurus, yeah, you get the point. Now, while they did find fossils of this dinosaur, the ones they discovered were quite fragmented, so it was always kind of a controversy if they can label this as a dinosaur, and they didn't really know what exactly it looked like, they had a good idea. But luckily, in 1988, a joint American-Argentinian team, led by Paul Sereno, discovered a complete Herrerasaurus skull. The skull was actually really, really unique because it was so long and narrow, and had very, very sharp serrated teeth, which were designed, obviously, for slice through flesh. The jaws were actually quite interesting. It had a unique hinge-like structure, allowing them to open wider than most of the other dinosaurs at the time. That was most likely an adaptation for catching and holding on to struggling prey. So, for example, a modern-day bird, how it picks up an insect or a small animal and it eats it, shakes around its teeth. That's probably what Herrerasaurus did to hunt. And that skull is a lot of clues. It gives a lot of clues onto how it probably hunts it. It's pretty cool. Now, for the body of Herrerasaurus, it was a very, very slender dinosaur. It was a theropod. It was about 10 to 20 feet long. It had two front claws that were probably very, very effective for slice through flesh, killing animals, or maybe even potentially climbing. No one really knows. But what we do know is that it was probably a pretty quick dinosaur. It could probably conceal itself pretty effectively. And the weight of this dinosaur is estimated from 500 to 800 pounds. That is the approximate, so no one truly knows. But we can get out of the idea that the body, the size, the claws, the shape, the agility, and how the jaw worked, it was probably really, really effective at hunting, which is very, very cool. And very, very reminiscent, or reminiscent of dinosaurs you will see much later. Now, I emphasize the word dinosaur because Herrerasaurus is one of the OG dinosaurs. It's one of the first in the record. And one of the more intriguing aspects of Herrerasaurus is its place in the dinosaur family. Herrerasaurus is actually classified now within the family of Herrerasauridae, which is a group of primitive theropods, which includes some of the earliest known dinosaurs, etc., etc., and obviously Herrerasaurus. Now, this is where it gets quite controversial because Herrerasaurus always was considered a basal theropod, which is basically like an earlier theropod group. However, with more findings and due to the feature features of the skull and some other key features, the safest bet now is actually moving towards a forestrian dinosaur, which is probably more likely, but you might still see where people consider it a basal theropod. It's it, like I said, this is a very, very controversial dinosaur. Another kind of controversial topic on this dinosaur well, is, was this a social hunter or a pack hunter? And there is some evidence pointing towards that, and um, that would be the skull. When we found the skull, we noticed these small wound marks on the side of the skull, which look like non-life-threatening but very painful scratches from probably a fight, and that was actually most likely another Herrerasaurus. So... That lets us know that it could have been a pack hunter, that could have been socializing with other Herrerasauruses, fighting for mate, fighting for territory, could have been anything. Now, as you probably are noticing, there's a lot of what-ifs or hypotheticals or maybe with this dinosaur. It's really 
an unknown dinosaur. There's definitely a lot of facts about it. We do know. We have a lot of evidence for some things. But there's a lot of what-ifs. Because it's a Triassic dinosaur, so it's already a little bit more rare. And there's only been so many remains found. So, yeah, we don't know a lot of this. And most likely, there's going to be a lot more updates after this video is posted. So, keep an eye out for that and keep that in mind. But what is relatively well known about Herrerasaurus is the environment it survived in. With fossil records and the knowledge of the late Triassic, we can safely assure that it probably survived in places of lush forest, potentially rivers, valleys, places it could probably conceal itself and hide to ambush prey. It was, like I said, designed to be a pretty quick runner. Strong claws, good agility, allow this to be an extremely versatile predator. Now that we talked about the Herrerasaurus and pretty much everything about it, as I start to wind down the video, I want to reference some places you can find Herrerasaurus in popular culture. Um, to start out with, you can actually find it in the lore and the story of Jurassic Park. It's never shown the screen, but we do know that in the, the lore, or canon, there is about four Herrerasauruses that were made by Engine. Um, another place you can find Herrerasaurus popular culture is the Zoo Tycoon games, the older ones, if you ever played those. And of course, you can find it in the Jurassic Park Builder series, and actually one of the original Jurassic Park 3 Builders, which is that, look, you have to look this game up, it's much older than the Jurassic Park Builder you're thinking of. And of course, you can find Herrerasaurus on Jurassic World Evolution 1 and 2. If you've seen my gameplay of this, you most likely have seen it. Now, as we wrap up this video here, guys, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. This is a new thing for me. I've never done a video like this. I was inspired by people like Trey the Explainer, and you probably could tell how the video format was. But I love making these kind of videos, and if you guys want to see more, please let me know. Uh, I ask you like, comment, and subscribe so I can grow my channel. We've actually grown quite a bit, and I want to thank you guys so much for that. It's a lot of fun to make these. But yeah, if there's any concerns about this video, anything I may have gotten wrong, just let me know in the comments. I will verify and check. I will put my sources in the description so you can read them too. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a good one. See ya.